What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Inua. So in the last episode we saw the uh, British expedition join up with the Inuit crew here as they ventured throughout the Arctic Circle. We are now stranded here making soup, uh, taking a break. Uh, Suluk is about to die from a unknown curse or something. Uh, we just got a medical book here on the last... Wait, can I... why can I not click on... Oh, that's weird. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, let's uh, see what Natar thinks of the curse. What has happened to Suluk? What is this evil that devours him? Did a Turngak seize him? I knew we should never have trusted these uh, Kualunat. Kalunat. It is their, all their fault. We do have a medical book though. I don't trust the Kalunat to figure out Suluk's condition, let alone cure him. Alright. Not a lot of trust here. Um, let's uh, speak with the doctor. See what he has to say about the medical book. I took this book from Godseer's library before we left the Terror. I knew it might come in handy. Let's compare this chap's condition to the symptoms listed in the book. Okay. Uh, typhoid fever. What is this? His abdomen is neither swollen nor taut. This would rule out typhoid fever. He's clearly suffering. Simple indigestion wouldn't put him in such a state. Okay. Cramps could point to dysentery, but that isn't the case here. Okay, we got a clue. Scurvy. Uh, probably doesn't have that. Uh, I'm not sure what... Is this a carpal syndrome? He's been playing too many video games, I guess. Uh, club foot? I, what is this? <laughs> it says lorem ipsum. Nice. <laughs> lorem ipsum are here as well. In all the words. Okay. Classic. Mmm, no traces of oedema at the ankles. Strange. That's usually quite common in scurvy patients. Oh, this is all scurvy. Okay. Fingernails normal, no thickening of the skin. If it is scurvy, he displays none of the usual signs. Alright, it's not It's not scurvy. So most strange. Sulux's gums are healthy. Most scurvy patients lose their teeth. No fever either. If it was typhoid, he'd be burning up. Undilated pupils, that rules out that rules out botulism. But the features of his face are contracted. He suffers from a headache, clearly. Okay, uh guess that's all the medical bullet had to show us. Oh, he's been poisoned. Seems like the, this poor chap was poisoned. I can't see any other explanation. Oh, What's your verdict? We can rule out scurvy, typhoid, or dysentery. And that's all the diseases known to men <laughs> so far. The only possible diagnosis left would be some sort of poisoning. It is a sickness of the unbelievers. It devours them from within. Thanks, Henry. Better that we don't risk catching it. Please, Henry, spare us the sermon. Alright, uh, maybe there's something in our equipment that we can use, uh, oh, there's poisoning here, let me just, uh, check the, if we lose the Inuit, we won't have the manpower to drag our gear any further, one problem at a time, William, okay, check the poisoning here, if we had someone with real medical training, we could figure out what poisoned Suluk, whatever it is, I just can't shake the feeling that this is all our fault, they've survived in this hostile environment for centuries, thrived, then we show up, you don't need a medical degree to work this one out. Okay, let me check uh, with the uh, ad twat here. The Kalunat are restless, but they can't do nothing against the poison that kills Suluk. I hope Kumak will come back with game, although I doubt Suluk has the strength to eat. Knows nothing about poisoning either. Let me check the guy who's making the soup. Maybe he poisoned it, I don't know. I've not been feeling good for weeks. I hope I haven't caught the sickness of theirs. Not have anything to say. These people are dying. We can't stand around waiting for it to happen. It's cruel, but we have to move on without them if we're going to survive. Woodruff wants to stay here out of loyalty, then he's no better than that cretin gore on the terror. We must make it back home. I made a promise to Moira. Uh, does anyone have any medical experience, I guess? Uh, Ruben, I haven't seen your thoughts lately. Let me just see what you think about the poisoning. They seem to love that dried meat of theirs. Could that be the culprit? But if it was, why would they get sick now of all times? No, it has to be something else. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, they'd all be sick, right? I don't understand. How can the Inuit be so sick, but we're barely affected? It is something we've brought up upon them? It is. I could never forgive myself. Stay strong, Atwat. I hope you and your people get better soon. I need to find a way to help you and your people. Something. Anything. Maybe with the right equipment, your chances of survival would be higher. 
Only, I have no idea what we have that would be useful to you. Check the equipment then. We can't just abandon the Inuit in the middle of nowhere like this. There has to be some way to improve their chances, if only to ease our own guilt. Commander, if we have to leave now, I'd like to give a few things to our friends. You're a fine lad, Reuben. I was thinking along the same lines when he proposed. I'm not sure. A lamp could be useful in the dark. Binoculars might help them spot game and plan a route ahead, but with them too weak to hunt right now, I think some of our food would be helpful too. Commander, I appreciate the help these folks have given us, but that's more than we owe them. We have to think of ourselves right now. We'll need that food if we're to reach the mainland. We've travelled side by side for months, Josephus. Have you no compassion for your fellow man? Reuben, do as you see fit. I trust you to help the Inuit without endangering us. Understood, Commander. There's a very like fine balance now between survival and helping out each other. It's gonna be tricky. Um, Natar, do you have any poisoning experience? The Kalanat thought they had the medicine to understand Suluk's sickness, but anger quit. Like Suluk face evils that ordinary men cannot comprehend. All right, no clue then. Uh, boss, what do you think of the poisoning? I didn't have much hope, but now it's clear. We can't be of any help to Suluk and his people. I need to rewrite my message. I'll make it clear that we have been unable to determine the cause of their illness. If, by some miracle, a rescue mission happens upon this place, it might just buy them some time. Alright, shall we... Let me check the, uh, star board here. Taimon realizes the source of the illness. Well, we have left. Need to find the source. Uh, we through the equipment. It's not much, but I hope these items offer our Inuit friends a greater chance of survival. Man, this is not looking good. I'm not sure all the Kalunat agree with him, but Reuben Campbell is a generous Thank man. Thank you for the food, Hallukallah, even if it burns my stomach. I'll admit it's not fine dining, but I hope it helps you and your people, Atuat. I only wish there were more we could do. Uh, William, uh, thoughts on the Inukchuk? As soon as their strength began to fail, we, uh, we stopped. They started to build this uh, Inukchuk. Maybe it's one of their rituals to protect themselves against danger they don't understand? I'm not sure we can find the source of the... Uh... Let's see what this guy thinks of the poisoning. If they poison themselves somehow, there's nothing we can do for them. We should leave them to their fate. They would do the same to us. If only we could take their fur coats. It's not like they'll be needing them for much longer. God damn, this guy is ruthless. We're cursed, cursed. The expedition, the crew, even these savages. It's godforsaken land, this hellish wind, those rocks, cursed. And this wretched toothache. Oh Lord, what have I done to deserve this pain? I know our equipment is supposed to be our best asset for survival here, but I'm not sure I'll be able to drag those damn boats two feet further. Alright. Uh, running out of options here, uh, clearly. Maybe we need to go into the present here. For a minute. We have a message. Uh, let's read that. I came all this way. Might as well hear him out. Well, are you going to show me this letter, or are we just going to stand around till we freeze to death? Sure. Take a look. See that symbol? Looks kind of like the one from the boat, right? What the? The survivors of the Terra? And they came here with the Inuit? Sounds like the Inuit were brought down by some kind of illness. But what was its source? And why then? Why them and not the sailors? Maybe there's a clue in some of the items the sailors left behind. So, yeah, harsh conditions, yeah, th there's a curse. Alright. Met uh, Asi? He right. He Scratched Eskimo. Maybe that's like a racial, uh, racially charged term for the Inuit. I guess. Maybe all, not all the people from, I guess not all the people from the Arctic are Eskimos, right? They'll have different tribes, different names. Uh, may leave behind, but will offer supplies. Okay. Uh, let me check. Oh, there's a lamp and some binoculars here. You know. Okay. There's a lamp they left behind. That's cool. And the foods. Uh, maybe they weren't used to the leads? I don't know, man. 
Uh, these are the same as the cans we found on the Terra. If the sailors left cans here, it must have been for a reason. Maybe they got sick of eating the same old stuff? Take it from someone who worked freelance. Eating crap is better than starving to death. Damn. Must be tough having a fancy media career. Let's take a closer look. Didn't one of the scientists say something about canned goods in the 19th century? Maggie, I think. I, I don't know. They always make me stay with the Zodiac. It was the sealing process. The yeah. lead they used to seal the cans contaminated the food. European sailors back then would have built up a tolerance for lead. But for the Inuit, it would have been a hell of a shock to there the you system. Go. You could be onto something there. Cool. Now we can travel back. Let's go to Simon. And there you go. What if... Or if it is, if it was the food, the cans, the material they are made of. Game has become so scarce of late, we've been eating more canned goods than usual. Take a look at these cans for me. Does anything strike you as hard about them? Let me see. You're right, sir. The lead solder on the cans is damaged. It's turned green. It's flaking. But if it's the canned food, why aren't we sick too? We've been eating it for years. That's precisely it. We each had a lifetime eating slop on the Navy. Or as the Inuit who lived off the land. That might explain why it's affected them as it has. We must get rid of these tainted preserves. From now on, we eat only what we hunt. Remarkable, Commander. You may just have saved Suluk and the Inuit from certain death. Boom, there we go. Helping our fellow man. Oh, it's feeling Friends. better already. <laughs> this Inuksuk? Had you lost all hope for me? <laughs> we thought you entered the spirit world, Suluk. But your helmet shines again. What's so funny? For us, man shaped Inuksuit can be a reminder that someone has passed. And that their soul is present where they die. It's like waking up finding your friends, but crossed in ground above your head. But you are an Anikatu Tsulu, a dead man brought back to life. If that's so, let's replace this symbol with an Inuksuk that will indicate to our destination. Angi Raktukutut? The dead brought to back to life? Did I resurrect Suluk? Is this my destiny? Is this the meaning of my dream? Very well. I'll leave a message for the rescue party. Gentlemen, empty one of the boats. Suluk and his people have dragged our sorry arses this far. It's time we return the favor. There you go. Ta-da! Well, bravo, I guess? You ask why I brought you here. I'm trying to show you. The film reel looks ancient. You sure it's okay to put it up there like that? Um, look, the uh, uh, Inuksuk has changed shape, right? It was like more two legs and a body. What? Like I'm gonna unspool it on the ground? Nah, this way you can see the whole thing. And now it's like a narrow shape, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm making this up. What whole thing? The whole story. Can you stop talking in riddles for one minute and tell me what any of this has to do with the terror? I was building up to that. Jeez, you're ruining the suspense. Remember when I found that tin cylinder in the Inuksuk? There was a note inside. Here. What is this? Show and tell? Wait, what's, what note? There's more message? I guess I should take a closer look at this mysterious note. What the? The survivors of the terror? They came here with the Inuit? The Inuit got sick, but this Woodruff guy figured out it was because of those tainted cans. Sounds like they all left together, but it doesn't say where they went. Who is this Simon Woodruff? Not one of the officers of the Franklin expedition, that's for sure. Whoever he is, he may have just given me the scoop of a lifetime. And wait, is that? Sammy, it's that symbol again. See, as soon as you showed it to me, I remembered hearing stories about it showing up here. It didn't mean much at the time, but, well, there it is. Incredible. This is incredible. Alright, we got the symbol. Uh, What more can we do? The, I don't know. Hold up. What do you think about the message, Sammy? I thought Nuna was crazy, but it's all happening just like she said it would. 
I've done what she told me to anyway. Who knows where this is going? Uh, maybe we follow the lamp or something? What else is there? Ah, there we go. Uh, Borealis. They filmed the Borealis? Wait, no. What is this? Film cans? That would be weird, isn't it? Hold up. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's the remnants of the uh, materials. Uh, oh, there's something else here. Ooh! A piece of film with the same symbol. The big bear. Meaning uh, they all went looking out for foods? A film reel, okay. You have to think about the remnants. All this abandoned equipment, not in bad condition, considering how long it must have been here. The sailors must have dumped some of their gear for some reason. Whatever it was, seems like I'm on the right track. Fine. Might as well see what all the fuss is about with this film strip. Well, no one's going to be developing this anytime soon. It's been drawn on with a knife or something. Some kind of story about a bear. And these three silhouettes here... Warriors, maybe? And... wait a minute... There's that symbol again! Maybe it's an Inuit thing? There's another film case. It's one sealed. We open it? Operation Borealis. What the hell is that? Hey, don't mess with that. That one's never been opened. I don't even know what's on it. More precisely the reason we should open it. Maybe David could help. I'll send him a text. Should get back pretty quick. Uh, who's David? I forgot. <laughs> Get the phone out. No news from David yet. Oh, it is uh, her's uh, editor. Okay. Uh, all right. What do you think about the uh, film reel? Good. I think the film strip has finally gotten their attention. Sammy, this film. You said it was from your aunt. More of a family friend. She gave it to me when I was a kid because I used to love the story it told. The weird thing is, she contacted me a few days ago and asked if I still had it. She said I should keep it with me, that someone would be interested in it. Guess she was talking about you. But how could she have known? She's a shaman. She knows all kinds of things. Do you think she might know anything about the terror? Maybe you could ask her yourself. She lives pretty far away though. A place southeast of here. How does she feel about visitors? So long as you like hearing old stories, you'll get on like a house on fire. Oh, we do love old stories here. There's another reel too, but this one's sealed. I've never been able to get it developed. Well, I... I guess I could help with that. It's gonna cost a fortune, but that's what company credit cards are for. Alright, so how can we do this? Uh... Check the phone again. Ah, here's a message from David. Oh, wow. He even sent me a picture? Operation Borealis. Scientific expedition. Military launch expedition to search for a meteorite. Young filmmaker to company search team. Okay. Looking for a meteorite in the 50s? What's that got to do with anything? Now, he's calling... Must be important. Hey, I got that picture you sent over. Care to tell me what Operation Borealis has to do with the Franklin Expedition? It's a lead I'm following up. It's... It's kind of hard to explain. Try me. I may have found evidence of collaboration between survivors of the expedition and the Inuit group. It looks like they may have headed south after they abandoned the terror. So what? I sent you to be there when they brought the ship out of the water. Think about it, David. No one's ever accounted for all of the crew of the Terror. And we might have found evidence that they had help in surviving. Uh, I suppose there might be a story there, but, but where were they going? That I don't know, but I think I could find out. I just need a couple of things from you. What kind of things are we talking? Money, sir. First, I have a reel of film I want to send your way. I'd like to have it developed ASAP. This is all suspiciously reasonable so far. How are we gonna send- we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> also, I need some funds. I was hoping I could use the magazine's credit card. <laughs> there it is. Alright, how much? And who are you paying it to? A good journalist never reveals her sources. 
And when are you a good journalist? Boom, David. I won't screw up, David. I promise. Alright, so I guess we are done with this chapter. Looks like we are be going to be traveling to the 50s to see what this... Aha! Guy must be the photographer or the uh, filmmaker. See what they have to do with this story. Let's continue. Beyond the horizon lived three hunters who killed to prove themselves. Shame, hate, and pride passed down through generations, fueling their actions. Their egos knew no hunger as they marked all of their kills and belongings. Gentlemen, welcome to the ass end of nowhere. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> Pretty lush and green around here. In the coming weeks, you will be sleeping in dirt. You will be bathing in ice cold streams, and you will be defecating in bushes. Perfect. So before we commence Operation Borealis, why don't you remind the boys of the facts, Lieutenant? Sir, a few weeks ago, we got word of an unidentified object crash landing south of our current position. Command believes that this object is a meteorite, and they've ordered a team to locate said meteorite and perform the necessary analysis. Accurate as always, Humphrey. Now, because it is critical that we document our findings, we have a civilian along for the ride. I trust that you've already given him a warm welcome. <laughs> Not every day us grunts get to channel our inner Brando. Just make sure you stay on my good side. Okay, Petey? I'll try my best, Lieutenant. Soon as I, uh, find my equipment, that is. Perfect. Already lost everything. <laughs> Without my camera, there isn't gonna <clears throat> be much of a film. It must have been delivered with the rest of the gear. Well, get the lead out of your ass. We're moving out this afternoon, whether you're ready or not. <laughs> get the leads very uh, topical here. It's got to be somewhere, but where? Let me find that out for you, Peter. There we go. Done. <laughs> Hold up. Laren Bullier. Okay. Uh, what else is around here? Radio. Some oil drums. Oh. Left the camera inside there. What is this sound in the background? The mission. The tent. What else? The car. The floor. The hat. Alright. Let's check the tent, shall we? Looks like the guys are keeping their gear in that tent, but it's padlocked shut. Say, Mike, I'm looking for my camera. Any chance I could take a look in the tent? Sorry, Pete. Nothing for you in there. Take a look somewhere else. Weird. Would they hurt? Let me take a look. Uh, what else can the suitcase here? That suitcase looks kind of familiar. Oh my god, it's your suitcase, Peter, you dingus. <laughs> Bingo! My trusty Pilar Bolex H16, a handheld marvel of European technology. But, ah, damn it. What's wrong, kid? Forgot to pack your swimsuit? Actually, I took your mother's. <laughs> Sorry. No, I found my camera, but no film. I must have packed them separately. Just can't remember where. Alright, Peter, come on. Uh, the suitcase again? I could have sworn I packed the film in with a camera. Must be somewhere else. Okay. What's this mission? I have never thought my next project would involve a bunch of soldiers. It was a surprise when they contacted me about coming along. I guess they just needed someone with a camera we could shoot. I don't care if they're using me, I'm using them too. I get to shoot in the Northwest Territories and I'm getting paid to boot. To boot? It's very Canadian of them. English as well though, but uh, alright. Uh, can I move around the place here? We cannot. Let's check the star signs. Ooh, Peter finds his films. Peter questions the mission. Okay. Sir, my good sir, uh, can I look inside the tent please? Captain Nickerson, my days of sleeping in tents are long behind me. Perks of being an officer. 
Might do these boys some good though. Uh, check what you have to say about the mission. I know I can trust Humph on a mission like this. Green and Bullio will follow orders, but the kid's an unknown qu quantity. Lieutenant? Sir, I know I don't need to tell you again, but this operation needs a uh, light touch. I trust you'll keep your men in line. Even the pipsqueak. He'll be on a tight leash, sir. Besides, I think he's more interested in futzing with his camera. Well, be that as it may, you don't need to tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Oh, uh, another thing. We'll need the cooperation of the locals on this, so... So keep Laren away from them at all times. Got it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, good hunting, Humph. You're the only one I can trust with this. Thank you, sir. We won't let you down. Okay. Uh, also, this guy is looking through the bags. Maybe he has something to say. Laren, alright. Uh... Back the tents. Better get used to those tents. Gonna be seeing a lot of them the, the next weeks. Who brings a suitcase on a track like this? CVs. No goddamn sense. What do you think of the mission? God damn, how do I get suckered into another shit detail? I have the worst damn luck. Tails. Why did I pick tails? I always pick heads. And I didn't even ask for best of three. Now that asshole parcel is probably soon sooning himself on some beach or oh, sunning on some beach while I'm out here okay who else would know where my stuff is private grant what do you think of the mission sheesh dodge a bullet with this detail those suckers are going to be here for weeks okay this little squirt planning on lugging a suitcase through the wilderness for weeks enjoy your camping trip boys better you than me anyway I guess it, this guy's not staying. Uh, let's check with Mike Green here. It's good to get off base for a while, I guess. Few more years, I can get out of the army, open up an auto repair shop with my brother, finally put some of that training to good use. Okay. You know, thinking about my film? Sure hope the kid traveled light. Because uh, he doesn't look like he's strong enough to carry much. Uh, at the tent. All the stuff we'll need is in that tent. Better take inventory before we leave. We end up in the middle of nowhere, and we're missing some piece of gear. I'll never hear the end of it. Man, I hate the army. <laughs> ah, he's opening the tent. There we go. Geiger counter. Some real... Uh, movie reels as well. That's our equipment, right? Well, well, well. Is that a Geiger counter? Maybe I'll ask about that once I've found my film. Well, they are looking for a meteorite, so radiation would be something to consider, right? Hey, my film reels! Uh, they must have gotten mixed up with the rest of the gear. But wait, what's the deal with the other stuff? That sure is a lot of gear for a mission this size. What's it all for? Hey, you didn't say any of that, okay? Just open the flap of the tent, man. What are you talking about? Everyone saw that. Uh, check the tent. How did my films get lumped in with the stuff that's packed in that tent? And what is that stuff? It all looks straight out of a science fiction movie, especially that yellow thing. Geiger count? Well, I've got what I need, but what's the deal with the rest of the gear they brought? Say, I think I've seen one of those before. Is that a Geiger counter? Hey, who left that tent open? Sir, uh, that was me. I was... I was taking inventory. How about next time you don't let the civvy go poking around our gear, huh, Green? What's your plan with that? You looking for uranium? Hey, Peter, I think I saw some rocks over there with some weird markings on them. Now you've got your camera, why don't you go get some shots, huh? I was just wondering why you- That was an order, Pete. I'll make it clearer in the future. I, uh... Yes, sir. What the hell was that? Hmm, obviously hiding some secret mission here. Uh, check out this guy. What do you think of the mission, John? Scientific expedition is a good cover. For everyone's sake, I hope it's just a meteorite, like they say. Once we've cleared this thing up, we can go all go home. Ooh! Damn it, who left that thing lying out? Oh, well, they're looking for something else other than the meteorites. This is just a cover story. I'm all for being thorough, but why is Green doing inventory again? Maybe he's just nervous. Just wish Laren cared about his job that much. In the suitcase. Jesus, 
The kid couldn't find his ass with both hands. <laughs> I can only imagine the whopping I'd have gotten if I'd lost my rifle back in Korea. Uh, Gaga counter. What's going on? They better keep this thing in good shape, otherwise it's coming off of their pay. Can't believe Green left that thing wide open. As soon as I finish my debriefing, I also put a rocket, a uh, rocket up him. We don't need a little shrimp nosing around. Lost his camera, lost his film, lost his suitcase. Kid wouldn't have made it through basic training. Heck, I nearly didn't. <laughs> okay, I had a weird confession there. Uh, what else do I have to do here? Oh, we can scope around now. Oh, the rocks, yeah. Petroglyphs, okay. What are petroglyphs? Just markings on rocks? There is a bunch of them. See anything else we can click on for the time being? Let's examine those petroglyphs then. Well, the lieutenant was right, I guess. Looks like there are some carvings on that rock. Don't see what that has to do with the meteorite, but there's something strange about that rock. Like someone was trying to mark this spot. Like he has some special significance. Oh, back to the Inuit. And I thought we'd never see rock. trees again. How long has it been? Three years? Almost four. But that means we're on the right track. All thanks to you, Commander. How did they have... Oh, they were hunting on the way. Damn, three years to cross the... Uh... Damn. A hundred kilometers they were from the nearest continent, right? And would it take... Three years to cross to do a hundred kilometers? I don't know, man. I don't think so. That seems... I don't know. Maybe they were very slow walkers, I guess. I thought I told you all to stop with this commander nonsense. I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps captain would be more to your liking. Admiral, maybe. Ah, much like an Inukshuk, these trees are a symbol. A symbol of our salvation. Game should be plentiful here. And, more importantly, this is the gateway to the south, to civilization. <clears throat> no offense. Hmm. <laughs> Some taken. Our first sight of trees after so long is quite the occasion. We should celebrate it, but how? Light them all on fire. <laughs> that would be me. Navigation. Carved symbols. The trees, obviously, the trees. Uh, the grass. Nothing else. Good old England's. Check the uh, carved symbols here. These stones have been engraved by a man's hands. Could this be a sign? So look. Do you know the meaning of the symbols on these rocks? I do not. I have heard of similar markings, but it is said they came along before me and my people. And yet they've lasted all this time. Incredible. In that case, we should leave our own mark. A sign of our passage. Josephus, you used to draw all the time on the boat. I'd like you to be in charge of the carving. I have to do on paper, not rock. You're a resourceful man, Josephus. I trust you to figure things out. If it's important to you, I'll do my best. What would you like me to carve? I shall leave that to you, my friend. Follow your inspiration. Let it guide your hand. We'll need to find a suitable place to leave our mark. Let's look around. Uh, oh. Will the spot do, Commander? There you go. Perfect, Josephus. This will be seen from a distance. Now get your tools and start carving. I'll need some inspiration for what to carve first. Uh, maybe look at the other carved symbols? Or the trees, maybe? What symbol would be appropriate for our situation? I feel like there are still possibilities I've yet to consider. The trees. Maybe I could carve one of those trees. After all, there are signs that we're finally getting closer to civilization. There you go. He's going for it. The rest of the Inuits are here. Let me see what she thinks of the trees. She thinks oh, she's she looks good. Tried looking at it. I think I can cut it. Oh, uh, she's chopping something. Uh, Peter sees the broken circle. Uh, what broken circle? Not sure about that. Looking at the trees there, you wanna cut to them it. too? Cormac, I think my tree's the best candidate for firewood. I'll start chopping. 
Now they're all chopping trees, I guess. Ruben, Atuat, listen. I think this tree will burn better than the other two. I will cut this tree for us. Very well. Change your plan. Go ahead, Cormac. Oh, they all stop. Uh... And she stopped as well. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, let me have a look at the trees again. Uh, kind of fancy this one the most. It isn't too big and I'm sure it will burn well. Very well. There you go. Alright. Let's see what this racist bastard has to say about all of this. Why are we wasting time carving rocks like a bunch of cavemen? Woodruff may have guided us this far, but I'm starting to think he's got an odd streak. Who does he expect to see these rocks? Some men say Woodruff showed us the way, others say the Eskimo guided us. But it's gods we must thank for making it this far, of course. Go back to Simon Woodruff here. Or maybe Suluk, what do you think of the carved symbols? Maybe the signs on the stone have a story to tell. A message from the past, reaching out through time, far into the future. This device was used to steer the colonist ship. It guided us, them to us, like the symbol from Simon's dream. Not sure what compelled me to take this with us. I've spent most of my life at sea, lived on ships since I was a boy. Maybe I'm just getting sentimental. Alright, I'm not sure how we proceed uh, through here, but we are going to take a little break, and when we come back on the next episode, we'll figure this out. Wish us luck. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!